No bodies hang from meat hooks, so I'll consider this a good sign. This is no chocolate factory, but I have to find something. Something I can use against, I mean, convince Eiji with. There's an opening that seems to be like a keycard slot. I mean, what else could you put inside? Sure doesn't look like I'm supposed to plug a cable in it. Nothing happened. A bottle of vodka. A bottle of... Galliano. It looks so worn out, but I bet Eiji's still terrifying with this crossbow. Toshi wouldn't let a creation of his be of subpar quality, after all. The thing is probably still deadlier than cutting edge Sanctus weapons. What's a shiny looking card doing in here just lying around? Might as well pick it up. A bottle of triple sec. Reminiscing the earthquake that shook Edo in 1855. Edo being old Tokyo, if I remember correctly. Seikanran debate of 1873. Will history repeat itself? That one I have no idea about. Race r rice riots of 1918. North Kyushu flood death till exceeds 1000, June 1953. What's this? A recipe. Wait, no. I recognize some of these words. Vodka, triple sec, golden dream. These are cocktails. Eiji must have them listed down in case he forgets. So I'm wondering if I'm supposed to write that down. It's a sink. You pour liquid you don't like in it. There's nothing that seems like a car key slot. Yeah, but can we actually plug this in? <laughs> okay, that time it worked, but... You inserted a card in the slot. Nothing. There must be more to this contraption than meets the eye. Which means Eiji is trying to hide something. And I could strike gold if I could figure out the trick behind this. figured there was going to be more spaces here once I could only use the red key on the one bottle. A list of cocktails of Armin's best friend. Maybe he has memorized the list. The, the list if he keeps it around. A traveling bag. Eiji's not planning to leave anytime soon, is he? Can't be. He's an immovable object as far as leaving the Empyrean is concerned. Hmm, double lock. That's a couple locks too many. Not to mention, it's on his bed. Must be something he wants close to him. Whatever's inside, he's not willing to share. I'm sorry, A.G., but I gotta do what I gotta do. The keys must be in here somewhere. Another shiny card, except a different color. Female clothes? What are they doing here? Right, Ayame. There are too many safe places for such a friendly girl to stay at. Having a place to stay must be one of the perks of being A.G.'s doormat. Hmm. You took a closer look at the hanging clothes, inspecting them with both hands. Here's something that slipped through the fabric and fall on the ground. Another one of those key cards. Better take this. A pair of gloves. You never know when you'll need them. Another card. If there was money in this, I'd be filthy rich. Damn it, you can hold it yourself. I don't have time to waste. Angie could barge in at any minute. I better find something useful before that happens. It's closed. Won't budge, and forcing it open is not an option. If I'm lucky there'll be a way to open it and treasure is inside. One can hope, right? Some sort of rope. An ordinary chair. 
You'll have to try harder than that if you're to keep anything from me, AG. But then again, I'm probably not supposed to be here. Can't click on that. I offer no reputation. My sin is vile. Please believe me when I say inside my heart is not evil. Only well wishes for you remain beneath the veil. As mere man accepting my weakness is what it means to live. Is this really Angie's writing? What's with the formality? I guess an old man will always be an old man. These statues are wearing funny hats. They look like antiques that might barter well with old folks. Some letters showed up on the display. Wonder what that means. Well, that did something, I think. That button did something. I wonder what happens if I... The statue moved when you tried to nudge it. That's interesting. Is this another lock mechanism? Maybe something to do with the direction they're facing. Might as well give it a shot. So there's a few different words I can make here. Ah, uh, I have this set up wrong. Okay, so when I click on them, they turn counterclockwise. And they alternate between E-V-I-L. So you can spell live, evil, vile, veil. So let's try Veil, since that word came up. I'm off. Okay, so they don't actually behave the same way. That complicates things a lot. Spells out vile. This time, evil. Yeah, so they're not even synchronized. That that's annoying, man. And this time it's live. I think it opened something. Better check that out. There you go. Look at that. A hidden key. AG must be behind something. He really doesn't want to be found if he went through the trouble of hiding this key behind an inconspicuous puzzle. That's an inconspicuous puzzle? So yeah, I think every word I listed was actually used right there.
How do I? There we go. I've matched all the key cards with the right slots. Should try pressing the button and see if they do anything now. So pressing the button transfers liquid from the bottle to the cup over there. You know what I'm playing with liquor here, I probably have to mix up a cocktail for something to happen. Oops, doesn't look like I got it right. I should try again. Okay, so for this part we need to write these down. Cream well, I'm gonna spell it creme. Creme plus gall equals gold. Or wait. We'll call it gold cad. 3x plus gall equals gold dream. That's the one I want to try first. 3x plus vod equals cause creme plus vod equals mart 3x plus creme equals dirty okay So, triple sec, plus this one gives you the golden dream. I'm actually surprised I have the Smirnoff logo on that. Okay, so it was the golden dream. You had to hit that, then the red button. That wasn't very intuitive. Who would have thought? The golden dream holds one of Angie's keys. Old man, no matter how hard you try to you try to hide it, it's clear to me that you care about your Charlton. Very much so if you want to be reminded of the King Kakuji so often. Anyway, Angie was behind something really important if you had to go through so much trouble just to hide one more key. There you go, just one more to unlock, and Angie will bear it all. Unless he's hiding around food in there, that is. Great, that did it. Let's see what you've been trying to hide, Angie. I hope you don't mind. Well, I'm sure you would, but I have to do this for Miho. No mistaking it now, Eiji. You value the D-phone that much, huh? I'm sure you didn't hide it in your trunk for safekeeping because of its barter value. If you wanted to keep yourself from calling us, you could have just thrown that thing away. Somehow, I really doubt this is here because it's Eiji's only music player and he wants to save it for a time when he needs to be accompanied with an awesome soundtrack. It's over, Eiji. There's no point in putting up a resistance. We can't fight them off anymore. We have more women and children than able-bodied fighters. I told you to steal your heart and temper your resolve. I told you to lead with an iron fist. Now it's come to this. It's all over. The vermin. Sick to attack dogs, the mad angels! I knew it. A recording that's extremely valuable to AG. What's this? A family photo? That little girl sure doesn't look like AG as a kid, and he's not the father either. Could AG be? What do they call it? Cross dressing? I can't believe Eiji would do such a thing. Snap out of it, you. There's no way Eiji would dress up as someone's mother. It's obvious, isn't it? Eiji's not in the photo. This family must be one of his acquaintance or something. Former nomads under his group, perhaps? Maybe there's something behind the photo that'll answer all my questions. 
just gotta turn it over and